Anyway, look, about Le'Veon Bell. Jets were a total mess on offense once again, and then you think about New York's offensive line issues. Well, as a result, Bell is always going to be in jeopardy of having a bad rushing game. But then Sam Darnold also took eight sacks. He threw three interceptions in this one, and when that happens, it's obviously going to hurt Bell's ability to pick up more cheap points in garbage time. New York does have a great schedule coming up, which should help Bell be more effective. But you got to remember, the Jets are never guaranteed to produce even in an ideal matchup. So he's much more of an RB2 than the RB1 you drafted. All right, Bear, who's next? All right, my smart bell joke kind of fell flat, so I'll dumb it down for you folks. Marvin Jones, he was dressed like Dracula on Sunday. He sucked the blood right out of your fantasy team. Ha <laughs> ha, biting. <laughs> Woo! Four touchdowns last week, four catches this week. What the fruit stripe gum just happened? Wow, it's been a while since I've heard fruit stripe gum. Barry, you might be as old as I am. Look, if you remember what I said about Jones after his huge game last week, this shouldn't surprise you, right? He's a volatile player. This week, it was Kenny Galladay's turn to have the big game. The other trend here is that Detroit hasn't been using Jones as much downfield lately. Over the last four weeks, he's averaging just 5.6 air yards per reception. We'll see if that usage continues, but it's something to monitor going forward. I think Jones just it's one of those things. He had a bad day at the office. He's going to be fine. A wide receiver three going forward. All right, Bear, who's next? Hey, did you see the costume Corey Davis wore on Halloween? No? Neither did Ryan Tannehill. I guess he was the invisible man buzzing. <laughs> Two catches, nine yards. What the fireballs just happened? Come on now. A dud from Corey Davis shouldn't be surprising to anyone, let alone you, Bear. You're the lord of duds. Anyway, look, Davis had nearly 140 air yards on his six targets this one, so the Titans really did try to connect on some big plays to Davis. It just didn't work out. I still believe Corey Davis will perform better with Ryan Tannehill than he did with Marcus Mariota, but he's nothing more than a boomer bust wide receiver four until we see some consistency from him and Tannehill. Who's next? T.Y. Hilton? I guess he was dressed like Paris Hilton on Sunday. <laughs> I don't really have a punchline here, but I'm guessing she's not very good at football. Topical bazing! Woo! <laughs> 7.4 fantasy points. What the fudge pop just happened? <laughs> <laughs> that one is actually my favorite. I actually sort of like that one. All right, well, look, these kind of games are going to happen. Jacoby Brissett completed only 15 passes this one, and he took four sacks. So that hurt Indianapolis's ability to sustain drives. But Hilton still led the Colts in targets, so honestly, there's nothing to worry about here. Colts get Pittsburgh and Miami the next two weeks, so better days are ahead for T.Y. Hilton. Don't panic. Just one of those things in a low-scoring kind of slugfest game against a tough defense. All right, Bear, who's next? All right, I'm going to wrap up my set with a group costume. The Panthers pass catchers, Olsen, Moore, and Samuel. They went as the three blind mice. Get it? Because mice think of football. And they're, they're also blind, so they can't catch. It's a double zinger. Come on. Ah, what the fake cigarette candy just happened? <laughs> That's a good question, and one that you could ask at any point during this show. But look, it's hard to have a productive passing game when you lose 51 to 13. This can't be a surprise. We know how dominant the 49ers defense has been this year. And on Sunday, they sacked Kyle Allen seven times. They forced three turnovers. As a result, DJ Moore and Curtis Samuel combined for 20 targets. So look, they're still going to be fine in better matchups, but this was a third consecutive down game for Greg Olson. It's becoming clear that at least until Cam Newton returns, Olson is merely the fourth option in this passing game. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. Remember to download the free ESPN Fantasy app. And for streaming sports and premium content like The Fantasy Show, be sure to subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.